Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of Tech Talk. Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about plugs and sockets, but not the usual. Did you know that Legrand does a range of industrial plugs and sockets? That range is called P17 Tempera Pro and can be used in a number of applications. Marius, what would those applications be? The name itself, industrial socket, refers to industry. Of course. Um, they're designed for robust environments, typically water, dust, and out in the sun. They can be deployed in many different sectors. There are commercial industry, caravan parks, you've seen those at the caravan parks mm -hmm. out, in the, out in the weather. Um, also, OEMs, original equipment manufacturers that make, for example, generator sets. Mm -hmm. You'll have that sitting outside the generator and it can stand in the environment out in the field. Um, also, welding machines where you've got high amperages, you can't have a normal socket outlet, you'll have a higher, higher amperage socket outlet. Buzz bar transmission, uh, on, the, on the tap offs of the buzz bar you can have various combinations that will feed uh, electricity to machinery for example. Well I've even seen these products used um, at my local gym in the locker room. They use them for the, the floor cleaning machines. Yes, that's an IP rated environment because you've got water involved. Okay. There. So you need, you need that IP protection. I'd like to explain IP a bit. Mm. Um, ingress protection. Then there's two digits that follow. The first digit will refer to dust against particles, uh, part, dust, yes, dust, dust particles. particles yes. um, even uh, and it starts off at zero mm -hmm. and goes to a maximum of six. Right. Six meaning even the finest dust can't get in. Right. Um, and then the second digit will be liquids. For example, water. It will start off at a two yeah. and maximum eight. So the maximum protection under IP rating that you'll get is IP68. Complete protection against dust and then even water under pressure. And what do our products, what type of IP rating do, do our products have? Our products have an IP rating of 44, 66 and 67. But there's something important that I want you to note, Sean. Mm -hmm. that when advertised, um, mm -hmm. have, have a look at other suppliers as well, it's important to note that they'll advertise it in this position. That is an IP54 protection where the cap is closed, mm -hmm. okay? Now, that IP rating changes when you have it in the inserted position. Right. So always make sure of the technical sheet to whether it the, the complies. So here it's IP44, okay. not IP54. 54. 54. Okay. So always just note that. But our IP, we've got uh, the various IP ratings throughout the range. Okay. And what what components um, are there in the range, and you know what sort of modularity or modular solutions rather can the range offer? So we we start off at 16 amps and we go right up to 125 amps. Okay. And also, Sean, there's various different pin configurations. For example, here you can see there's three phase. It's line one, line two, line three, neutral and earth. Mm -hmm. uh, we could also then have that on the small side, your standard single phase, live, neutral and earth. Um, the, the product also carries a uh, special patent. Now this patent is unique because if we consider this, for example, there's a little little press place here where you press into and then this unit will open. Now what happens okay. now, you're ready to connect this cable. Mm -hmm. And at this point of where you completed to connect your cable and you're gonna insert this unit, there's no screws. So imagine connecting this to a big generator where there's constant yes, vibration. Those screws can come loose mm -hmm. and it's a risk um, to, for your IP rating. Now here, once you've turned this into position, it's locked. Nice, nice. Done. Okay. And it cannot come loose. So that's a patent that Legrand's got um, and it also warrants the, the IP rating of the product. That's great. So you mentioned earlier harsh environments. And of course, here in Johannesburg recently, we've, we've had a lot of rain. So I can imagine out there on the building sites um, with the, the dust, the cement, the rain, all of that, what protection do our products offer 
you know, out there in, 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 that, in, that condition, in those conditions. Yes, true. I, I'm, I can imagine now, for example, this, the, the, the site that you're talking about now, the, there's mud, there's concrete, there's bricks falling, you know, that type of thing. Uh, let's, let's imagine a 125 amp uh, cable lying there in the rain out, mm. out exposed. Now, if you have a cable that is live connected to this unit and that's sealed uh, at IP67, it can lie in the water. Wow. So now, if you want to do a connection, you will simply lift that, it conveniently hooks in the open position, mm -hmm. and that will now insert into, yeah. into that there. And this unit then will turn to lock it to give it its complete IP rating. Sean, this can be submerged underwater for one meter. It's IP67. Okay. Now, now if you open this, mm -hmm. then you are able now to withdraw it. <laughs> really? How? This is the budget. <laughs> you're not, you're not going to be able to withdraw it that way, Sean, and there's a reason for it. Okay. You need what, what we call maximum insertion force and a minimum withdrawal force. Okay. That, that is designed for a specific reason. Imagine there's 125 amps flowing through this cable at 500 volts. Wow, yeah. If you withdraw that slowly, it can develop an arc and burn you in the face. It's a lot of energy. Yeah. Uh, so you need to physically have that disconnect very quickly. So the design is in such a way that you start pulling, start pulling, and then suddenly it releases, and then it comes out. Okay. That design protects you because of the speed that you're breaking yes. the arc. Uh, vice versa, when you put it in, you can't just put it in slowly because now your inrush current uh, will we'll also do the same, it can damage the equipment or yourself and, and suddenly it goes into place. And then locking it and giving you IP protection. I think uh, that's about uh, explaining our industrial socket outlets. Great, well thank you very much Marius. Well for more information on this product and others, you can please visit our website at www.thegrant.co.za we thank you very much for joining us and look forward to seeing you next time. Cheers, everyone. Take care. Cheers.